Welcome back, Helldivers. I've got a bit of a spicy one for you today. You likely have heard if you're playing Helldivers 2 on PC on Steam, you're going to need to link your Sony account. And if you don't have one, you're going to have to make a Sony account to keep playing. At first, I thought this was a bit of an overreaction from the community, a bit of a nothing burger. But the more I looked into it, I thought, holy, okay, let's talk about it. If you're familiar with my main Destiny channel, I will cover drama like this. I try to take both sides and try to be pretty reasonable about it. I try to see both perspectives and I'll do the same with this. I'll do the side for and the side against. But overall, let me just say that I am with you when it comes to signing in on multiple accounts on PC. It drives me up the wall. This is what happened when I was playing Prince of Persia. Why is it running? Why? Am I on Epic and I click launch and it boots up Ubisoft? Obviously, I'm not the only one who dislikes having to link third-party accounts to your Steam account uh, as Steam is now being absolutely slammed with negative reviews for Helldivers. 36,000 negative reviews yesterday and another 12,000 negative reviews today. Now, the CEO did respond to this uh, saying ouch right in the review score well i guess it was warranted sorry everyone for how this is all transcri uh, transpired i hope we'll make it up again and regain your trust by providing a continued great game experience i just want to make great games now to give a little bit more context one of the community managers also said in their discord first of all it's sony's decision not ours secondly we don't have all the details about the region related issues yet we're chasing sony to get more info right so let's just do a quick like reasons for like and then we'll get to all the the negatives about having to link your sony account like i said before this is very common practice you often have to link a third party uh platform or publisher it is super annoying but it's not like uncommon to have to do this like i said with prince of persia you know i had to launch ubisoft i had to launch that i to do epic and then launch ubisoft it's like come on now uh it is annoying but it's not uncommon to have to do this also on the Steam store page, it did have a note here, requires third-party account, PlayStation Network. And apparently this has been here since day one. Even though it was not enforced, it was written on the Steam store page. And the last reason for like, this is not a huge deal is that it is free to create a Sony account. But that's about all I have for the reasons like why this isn't a big issue. And there's lots of other reasons for why this is actually a big issue. And let's get into those. The first thing and most obvious thing is no one has ever enjoyed buying a product and then after using that product for months, then have how you use that product change. Nobody likes that because you're forced to do something that you didn't agree to when you first bought that product. And it applies to video games too. People bought Helldivers, they could play Helldivers on Steam and now it's being changed to the point of you can't keep playing unless you do this thing. As part of human nature, we don't like that. We don't like being forced into a corner and being forced to do something <laughs> in order to keep using a product that we've already paid for. What makes it worse is it's outside of the two hour like threshold to get a refund on Steam. Hopefully uh, people can still request a refund with this new information, but that hasn't been processed yet. There's a Reddit post here showing how Sony's changed uh, some of the information. They're frequently asked questions such as, do I have to sign into a PSN to play a PlayStation game on PC? It says signing into PSN is optional when playing a PlayStation game on PC. And apparently now it's been changed to some PlayStation games might require you to sign in and link to an account for PSN. Right. The next real big issue is that PSN, PlayStation Network, is not available in every country. So we've got multiple examples already on the Reddit. Uh, a Chinese user tried to use a VPN to create a PlayStation uh, account and was promptly banned because they were using a VPN. Uh, another gent from Vietnam and someone else from the Philippines that they're all leaving their goodbyes. Level 90 Helldiver, it's been a good time. It's fun while it lasted, see you later. So obviously that is a massive, massive issue that some countries don't have access. The PlayStation Network can't make an account and therefore can't keep playing Helldivers. And of course, they should be well eligible for a refund. Now, the CEO did tweet out that they're looking into that and they're speaking with PlayStation and Sony to actually resolve that issue. I mean... Good luck. I don't know how they're going to resolve that, but it is a massive issue and very disappointing if you live outside of countries that provide PlayStation Network. 
And of course, Reddit provided a map, uh, the blue being countries that can uh, create a PlayStation account and the uh, greys countries being ones that they can't. Don't forget about us over in Australia and New Zealand. There we are. Yay, we can do it. The next big issue is Arrowhead Studios said, oh, this is for like security reasons that you have to link your PlayStation account or your Sony account. And then everyone's like, well, that's ironic because Sony security is pretty garbage. Why should I give my data to Sony when they've had so many data breaches? What makes this even worse is that some countries uh, do require, I think this is for UK, or do require like a facial scan and ID to as part of creating your account. Now, as part of this, I actually went on and I made a new account because I already have a Sony account, made a new account in a, a new email just to see if it did the same for Australia. Um, it didn't. It did actually say when I was making the account and I was redirected to the Australian page that there would be an age check but I actually went through this process from start to finish. It took my age, took my date of birth, took my general like address, like suburb and postcode. And of course, asked me if I'd like to sign up for advertising or tried to trick me into ticking how I'd like to receive advertising. But I was actually able to complete my sign up without putting in uh, an ID or a phone number or a face scan. But from what I've seen online, if you're in the UK, this is a requirement for making a Sony account. And that is concerning when you have data breaches with a company and it makes it even worse when you're forced to either make, make that account or stop playing the game. Lastly, also from Reddit, someone's like, well, this is actually not in the EULA, the end user license agreement, doesn't say anything about having a PlayStation account. Uh, when I read the EULA, it's actually a PlayStation end user license agreement, um, but it doesn't seem specific to playing a Steam game on PlayStation. Regardless, I think like this is probably the best comment response here. Like this is how they get away with it. They always put a line in saying you are bound by this agreement's most current version. Uh, if it modif if modified, you know, this agreement terms at any time, uh, please check this URL from time to time to see if it's, if it's still the same agreement, essentially. Your continued access to or use of the software will signify your acceptance of the latest version of this agreement. And, and ironically, someone said, um, this is, Helldivers actually made fun of this in their like training area. And this is the whole irony of Helldivers and freedom and democracy because it is a commentary on this stuff happening in our corporate world. And someone said that uh, in the training area, uh, it says reading any part of this constitutes an agreement to it whole. And that they were making fun of this kind of stuff being in terms of agreement and then saying, yeah, then they just did the exact same thing. So as you can see, a lot more reasons to not want to link your Sony account or create a Sony account and link it to your Steam account, link it to your Helldivers account. Uh, I wasn't really aware of all these things going on when I first heard about this conversation. And this is why I wasn't really going to cover it at first. And I thought, oh, it's just people kind of overreacting again. And then once I did a bit of a deep dive on this, I was like, okay, I definitely see that point. And I can see why that is incredibly frustrating to be forced into making an account with all those reasons in mind. And finally, a little comment about the community managers. Uh, they're obviously biting back a bit in the Discord, uh, you know, responding to people like, I thought you were refunding and leaving when there's continued outrage in the Discord. And, uh, you know, just saying, well, this is not the first time that a, a, a game has required you to have a third party login. It's not going to be the last. Like, this is, this is pretty common. People are, are, are pretty upset with the community managers for their response. I see both sides as a content creator. I cop. A lot of abuse as well in the comments and i often fight back and i've realized over many years i've been doing this for 10 years now it almost never benefits you to fight back sometimes i lose my temper and i i fight back and you know it it, it just never turns out well and unfortunately as a community manager they gotta kind of bite their tongue when it comes to this stuff uh take the blame even if it's not theirs even if it's sony's and that's kind of what the ceo said and i think the ceo's response has been the best he's like oof that hurts. We're going to try our best to to get you back on board. Um, and like, it's not our, you know, they, they it was their decision to partner with Sony, but, you know, so they, they should have been aware that this is going to happen as well. And that's part of the, the issue with, with partnering with other people to do this. There you go. All the drama you need for your weekend. Have a great weekend and I'll see you very shortly. If you'd like to support the channel and cannot think of a comment, you can just leave the word Sony. As usual, it's been a pleasure. This is Mulligan. Peace.